Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Daniel Akers and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. As you normally come to this YouTube channel, you normally see me doing setups and everything I normally do. Today, we are going to be doing my fishing adventures, which will be called Daniel Akers Fishing Adventures. You don't know how many times I actually edited that out. Edited videos. This is my, my 10th take and I haven't even started fishing yet. But yeah, hopefully this guy's works for you. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you through what setups I'm using, where I find the best fish and what we're going to be doing is, is every single day we're going to be doing a different lake. Today we're going to start with St John's because I find St John's is the best lake to go to. We're going to be doing 20 minutes to do this week on all the on all the lakes and then next week we're going to be doing 30 minutes and then the third week once we've done them all, once we've second week we've done them all, the third week we're going to do 60 minutes. 60 minutes on all lakes, you know, the third week. I'm looking forward to that myself but I want to build up as we get there so that'll be a lot of episodes that will be yeah so let's get straight into it today the tackle box i'm going to be using today is this one my tackle box two my tackle box one is for smaller fish you know smaller lakes um the rods i'm using is bait 13 foot max distance you can get max distance and where you need to go well i'm going to tell you to fish today if you'd like to fish today obviously you don't have to but i find this is the best place for me personally to get my tackle points up as you can see my tackle points are so extremely high because I catch a lot of fish in this corner and I find it it's just it's just I call it God Carp Corner. If you want to catch carp, there is catfish coming over there as well. It's just an amazing place to go to. Uh, let's get into the reels. The reels are using Sonic FS Black, which I find exactly the same setup in the videos before. The best reels, the best everything. Um those reels are perfect, the tension's perfect it's just everything about them is just perfect in my opinion the line i'm using is kyoda 25 supernatural now i've always found that line is double strength it's the strongest line on the game and i find it's perfect from playing these carp bigger 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 fish like when i caught the 100 pound catfish uh must be about six seven months ago now we used this line i tell you one thing we played it perfectly we played it for about 20 minutes um if you'd like to see the picture of it, obviously my mate took a screenshot of it because the Xbox wasn't recording back then. The Xbox recording was down on Xbox, which is just typical. So if you'd like to see that video, that would be in the link down below on my Twitter and you can see the picture of it. You know, remember to try and really happy with it and everything. Really, really happy with that catfish. Um, the rigs I'm using today, a lot of people say to me, why do I use size fours? I find size fours the best. Like, I've been through every single hooks i've bought most of the hooks and i always find size four is the best hooks to go to for for going for bigger fish um i always use the weed the silt the gravel the gravel because the gravel is what i use the most um on fish on but obviously when we fish in this corner you've got a lot of silt and sand so if you have got a gravel one try not to try and use the silt one i know it sounds really random but that's what i've been doing i've been catching fish like i said i did a live stream yesterday and we caught some massive great big carp in this corner that'll be in the link down below to my twitch so you can just watch the recent videos which are on there as well feel free if you'd like to follow or, you know, it's up to you guys but uh the baits i'm using is boily float and um, so the boily float is a pop-up boily 15. now if you use that you tend to go for the smaller carp you know you go for like carp in the region so about 18 to 20 pounds you know you don't really want to go into those type of ones any bait will catch you the same thing it could catch you a massive one but i attend it it attracts the kind of smaller fish um the tiger nut 15 vegetable sink it's, it's good it's good for catfish but like i said it's 15 again you get the smaller catfish with it you know i always find you always kind of get the smaller catfish um the active eight boily millimeter boily sink now i find that works really really well but the best time to fish with this bait i know this is going to sound temperamental but this is coming from a fisherman myself during the night this bait does not show i know they can still smell but it doesn't show i've been fishing here at nights before and it doesn't show it if you fish during the day on a, on a, on a sunny day this works it's, it sounds really really weird i know it does coming up but it's just the way my mind's been telling me how to i've tried it and it doesn't work my you my best bait on the game oops what have i done that whoops sorry about that my best bait on the game is this dumbbell boily sink this is the best bait i can recommend catch carp on any lake well you know you don't want to use it on the small lakes you want to use it on the big lakes which is st john's and bravo the spanish one this is catching the fish for me at the moment it won me a competition 
uh, two months ago. Um, literally, we played against friends and all that. We know we did really, really well. And for the first time ever, I might do some live tournaments, live tournament live streams as well. Like every day, I do a live tournament. So, tournaments on now. So, after this, I might literally jump straight on and do another video and do live tournaments. So, I do a daily live tournament as well, which will be looking forward to that. You can see where I finished. I did a live tournament this week. Um, I finished in the top 10. I think it was in the top 10 I finished. So we got some tackle points and we got some XP, which I thought was amazing, top 10. But the thing is though, I kind of mucked up when I first went in. I lost, I went into my first attempt and I brought in these rods on a small lake. And I left and then I forgot all about it. I came back and I was like, oh, my time is nearly up. And of course we were a hundred pound behind the leader, you know, but I could have done it, but that's the way it goes. You know, I wasn't thinking what I was doing, but yeah, that is my basic setup. Now we're going to be going to St. John's. We're doing a bit of multiplayer. Uh, like I say, if you are literally watching, if I'm live streaming, I might be live streaming this while I'm doing the YouTube video. Well, feel free to jump in or add me. I'm on Xbox One. I am, I am getting a PlayStation 4 in the next couple of weeks. So I'll be fish streaming this on PlayStation 4 as well. I'll be doing exactly the same as what I'm doing here, but obviously we have to start from scratch which would be nice because you can see me start from scratch and see exactly how i um what's going on here then creating session sorry bear with me this is going to be a few problems oh this game oh here we go so i think it's already set up i think it should be on 20 minutes already oh it's in 10 minutes we'll go 20 minutes i normally fish john mornings when me about nine ten o'clock normally so we'll go at 10 o'clock and the conditions I like to fish on this game is heavy rain. We've obviously my tackle box too, which is what I've just gone through. So we're just going to start this up now and hopefully we catch some nice carp. I'm going to show you exactly where I fish. Um, I call it Carp Corner. It's one of the best places I've ever been to on this lake. It is just oh, it's absolutely ridiculous how bad and how nice it is to see these fish actually jump in that corner. Oh, it's just amazing. Like I say, I I can't complain much because I was swimming last night and I was catching fish after fish. And my mate in the stream says to me, he doesn't, he's never tried my setup, but he's going to try it. He needs to buy some stuff though first. But he wants to try my setup. Obviously, linear fisheries as well. A lake I go to, I go to Oxley's. I'm a fisherman myself. I go to Oxley's um, in linear. I've been to this lake once. Have I been to this? I don't think I have been to St. John's actually. Tell that back. I normally go here, so when I first spawn in, I spawn here, and then we go around to the peg, which is just closest peg to that corner. So obviously, you can go there, go just down here. Obviously, you've got to go around this fence. I don't know why they put the fence in for, but they want to make it more realistic. So we're just literally running all the way around. Come on. Oh, bear with me. Here we go. Right here, my usual peg. That's why I normally fish. It's right here. Now, what I normally do with this is this is rod one. I normally start off with rod three first, but we're going to start with rod one today. Rod one, we're going to be using the silt rig I was telling you about with the dumbbell. And what I normally do is I'm going to put rod one literally on that island right in front of me right now, literally hitting it. Literally snap it literally hitting the island so it's like you're going to lose your bait you want to go as close as you can so about there is absolutely fine obviously what i tend to do is when i've cast it out i normally probably just reel it in once just press the stop button once just press it once or twice so you get the line sink it's just can't fish in real life you know it's just what it is i'm going to use exactly the same bait again but i'm going to put this bait why this little, uh, where the weed bed is, where this thing, uh, the leaves hanging over the tree just here. You want to literally hit it, basically. You want to go just there. And just fill it in twice. Put the rod down. And then rod three, we are going to go in my usual. This is where the corners are. But I always end up hitting the trees every time I cast here. So I always hit the trees on this bit. So if you hit the tree, don't worry, it'll land straight on it. But I'm going to go a bit... Lower cast this time, try if we can smack that weed. There's a bed there. Perfect, just there. That is the carp corner over there. 
Now what we're going to do is now, this is where the cup corner is. Normally I spot up, so I would always spot on rod 3. I always spot on rod 3 first and go down to 3, 2, 1. So obviously a lot of people ask me, saying, how do you get it the same distance? A lot of people didn't know you can actually clip the line. So a lot of people didn't know that. So what I do is it's perfectly right just there. Clip the line and then leave it for a few seconds. And we're into a fish already. Uh, a big mistake is a lot of people have their line tension really, really high. I always tend to lower my tension about down to 28, 29. And obviously just the way I play it is I bring it the rod down and then I bring it back up. I bring it down so the blue goes down and bring it back up. First fish of the day, hopefully, for the first episode, this is a nice big carp. Because this is the corner where I've been catching my carp a lot. You know, a lot, a lot of people, no, I'm not quite sure if any other bloody people knows about it. A lot of people might know about it, but obviously with me, my personal opinion, this is the best bait I've been using for this corner. And I tell you, this, this is just the perfect corner to go to. So we're just going to play this one and hopefully this is a nice size cut for the first <laughs> for the first video. First one, episode one. Wow, we've been loads. We're going to be doing this in ages. Oh, Rod 3's off now, which is just typical. Here we go. Cut corners off. Rod 1 will go now. Go on. You have to bear with getting this one in. This doesn't feel... This doesn't feel... There they are. Maybe fishing like I'm doing my life now. This doesn't... It might be a big cut, but what I do is normally like, I normally put the tension up really, really high when you bring them in, cause so rod can't snap. Just keep you holding your rod up. And there we go, first fish of the day. Let's have it. What we get? I think it might be. It might not be that big. It might not be amazing. That is good enough to start off with. Twenty-one pound common carp. That's not bad at all. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to get straight into rod three, which is going absolutely deluge. Bring it in, line the tension down. So yeah, if you have any questions about this game, anything anything you want to know about, anything you want to do, uh, if you want to come for a fishing session with me on this game, just message me in the chat. Obviously, I'll be live streaming as well, so if you'd like to follow my journey as well, my Twitch, I always stream and be streaming again, because I've recently just come back. I had a problem with my side, you know, I couldn't sit like this, but now it's all sorted now. I can actually enjoy myself again. But yeah, I... I you know, this is just amazing. First episode, well, I'm, just, I'm actually, you do not know how many takes it's taken me just to do the first bit of intro. This must be, a, this this the attempt here is the 50th attempt. But the 50th attempt, attempt of me doing it because I can't get my words right at the moment. I feel so nervous doing it. I'm not quite sure. I'm only talking to my camera, stupid idiot. But never mind, that's <laughs> just the way it is. But we've done it. 14 minutes in and just hopefully we catch me bag a load of carp. Bod 1's gone completely dead. Normally I'm going to bring that a bit closer into the island. A bit closer. Or we could just stick him right by rod, rod 2 and 3. But this one might be a nicer carp. Just hopefully, yeah, if it's the record on my episode 1. Wow. Like I say, I'll be doing live tournament videos as well. I'll be doing live tournaments. Both, you know, we'll be doing episode one you know of live tournaments as well this is the episode one of my fishing adventures so which one's taking a while i need a vape as well <laughs> i'm gonna have a vape while i'm playing don't do that if you're new to the game because you're probably <laughs> you can do it if you want to you know i'm just saying it's all you need concentration on this game especially if you want to land them this one might be a nice fish actually because this one's going absolutely berserk. So hopefully for you guys for my first episode one, this could I'd glad if it was a record fish. Record fish on episode one. That'd be amazing. Bring the tension up a little bit so we can get a bit more fight out of him. Come on. Well, this is taking them, but this might be a catfish, you know. Because normally, when I, I normally I just leave my rods when they just go, but I normally cast the second one back out. Rob one's had a bit of a run then. Oh, blimey. It's 
second fish of the day. We've been playing this for a while, and I don't want to lose it. Rob one's off now. Uh, it's just I'm not not gonna let that distract me because this fish feels like it's gonna be a nice size fish. This is taking a while, so episode one this could be a record breaker. This could be a record breaker on the first one. We got it. Now I don't want to lose it now. I can't afford to lose it now. Come on. No. We've got it. It's a catfish. I think it's a carp or a catfish. We'll find out what it is now. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Our first ever video of episode one. We go and catch the 89 pound carp. 89 pound catfish. The Hulk. Oh, wow. Should I end the video right here? Wow! What a what a time to catch it as well! Wow! Oh my word! Thank you so much, you beautiful catfish, the Hulk. I hope you enjoyed that on my YouTube video. I'm sorry, I'm just staring at it right now. I'm dead happy. You know what? Is there really more time to fish now? We're we gonna top that on this lake. Whoa! Wow, wow. That has took me away. I wasn't expecting it to be that big. Wow. Okay, we'll put this back in and we'll get the other rod in now. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this one can't top that. Surely this can't top that. Oh, God. That's what I was doing last night. We caught a 68 pound. Now we've just gone and caught the Hulk. On episode one of my fishing adventures, is this going to be a record breaking? Oh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. You know, smash your thumbs up on this like button if you want more videos. Obviously, we're going to get more anyway. We're going to be at Bravo tomorrow, and I can see the hundred pound, hundred and fifty pound catfish because where I normally go is where we catch big catfish, where I caught my hundred pound one. So that could be a record breaker as well. I'm amazed. 80 pound or oh, 89 I think it was. I was amazing. The Hulk. I'm not quite sure if that was the record though. I don't know. I haven't looked at the record. I forgot the record now. This one feels like it might be quite big as well. We we can't catch another massive fish. We physically can't. This is only the third fish. I, this is what I've been telling you about where I normally fish, where I normally go. This corner here is it's just Amazing, in my opinion. How long have we got left? Nine minutes to go on episode one. Oh, we got it. I think so. Nothing's going to top that fish now. So we're going to be watching now. Everybody's just going to go off. Oh, he's caught it now. I'm going now. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> uh, stay. Stay to the end. You never know. It could be a bigger fish. It could be an even bigger fish. See what size we got this time. Oh, that's not bad. It's a little baby 23 pound mirror cup. Oh, wow. Well, all the rods are out now. Let's get them back in and get them back to that crazy corner. Got a rod free first. Wow. Um, I'm actually speechless. We actually caught that first time. I'm actually very, very happy. Because for you guys, this is the kind of content I wanted to show you. And I'm happy. That's, a, that's not close enough. It needs to go a bit closer than that. Bit more power. If I, I always hit the trees when I cast and non-casters from here because it's a really difficult spot to hit to. Perfect, just there. Bring it in, reel it in once or twice. There you go. Got two. Gonna go in our usual corner, which is just here, where we call the 89. I'm gonna put rod one next door to it as well, and I'm gonna spot. I never wear a spot in as well. I've been doing that, but I've been spotting in between them. I've been spotting in between them as well. Spotting in between them. So if I'm going to put these too close, I'm going to put the spot in the middle of them. So I'm going to put it next door to run about there. Try <laughs> and literally hit that corner. There we go. About there. And then what I'm going to do is now is I'm going to spot in between them both. I have to do a quick cast quickly because I've got it on... Um, 
I've got the line clipped up, so I need to unclip it. So it's not going to hit that far, so we just need to unclip it. Bring that back in. And then just hit it in between the middle of them, I find. Best way to go on this, obviously, if you do want to spot on this game, is to hit them. Try and get your walls close together and hit it in between them like that. Hit it in between them, reel it in once, and then just clip it there in between them so that the bait is around both of them. And the carp are a bit further back on rod two. I've been seeing them jumping at the back again. But this method, what I'm doing now, really does bring the fish to you. And then just obviously bring it in really, really slowly. A lot of people just do that. Don't do that. Yeah, just muck it up, basically. So same again. Smash it right between the middle. Clip on. Just there. It literally that was then. Leave it there for a few seconds. Just really, it just tap the button really once until the the, uh, the food starts coming out around the bait like that. And then just leave it for a few seconds and then bring it back in. Normally I do four or five each time, four or five spots. So that's the second one. Normally when I do an unlimited session, normally we just do doing this. You know, that's one done. Exactly the same spot again in between them. I normally do about four or five. Oh shit. Here we go again, number fish, rod two. It's the same one where we caught the oh god, no, no that tension now, that's too high. See I mean I, I had the tension on because I was bringing it in. So hopefully this is a nice size fish as well. And Rob one's going out. So, I mean, you spot it up <clears throat> in between the middle of them. You tend to catch more fish. A lot of people just spot one rod. But if you put the rods close together and you spot in between them, you attempt to bring the fish into them. Um, hopefully, this is a nice size fish. I've got five minutes left of streaming. Five minutes left of my first episode, which is 20 minutes out. It's gone really, really quick. Um... Uh, everyone who's been watching this video, I appreciate you stopping by. You know, I appreciate it. It it just it makes me feel amazing if you're stopping by this video and just enjoying it. You know, like I said, we've got episode two tomorrow, um, episode three, live live tournament competitions where you can see where I finish every week. If you're on Xbox One, you can even follow me, or you can even jump in with me. Let's have a look what size this one is. Oh, that's not a bad cup. Little common part, 19 pounds. All we're going to do is now, is now I know that rod's been taking time. I'm just going to bang this one straight back out in that corner. This number one isn't running that much. If it's not running that much, but normally the last time I said that, we had the 89 pound catfish. That's not close enough, but it'll do for now. All right, let's get rod one in. Turn the tension down a bit because the tension's on really high. At the 28, and then let's go again. We might, we might be able to catch one more, maybe one more fish after this if the rod goes. So, you know, 20 minute sessions run 70.1. That catfish is just amazingly rocked it up. As you can see, you can see by this corner, if you if you had a lot of time and you wanted to get tackle points, obviously spot it up in between them. Like they are now, next door to each other, just spot in between them and then just use the same bait as what I've been using and you will have fun. You will be catching fish more quicker. You'd obviously get try and get the rods I use. Some people use different rods to me. But I use these because they're max distance and they're nice at getting over there. They get the distance. They can even hit the weeds and go a bit further. Like if I manually cast it, I can get a bit further. But my manual cast, sometimes I, I hit the relay or time I do it wrong. I could easily hit these. But hopefully this is another nice size fish. Three minutes left. Oh. My word, that's gone so quick. Arm um, rod freeze off. We can get this in now. You might have the time for two more. I think you're going to have love for time for two more fish in this episode one on the St. John's. Come on, come on, come on. We got you. Double look what this is. Um, 20 pounds, 9 ounces. Not bad. Not bad. Carp, mirror, lovely mirrors. Now oh, let's bring in rod. Three. We've got three minutes to get it in. We should be able to get it in. That tension right down. So that tension will snap it. And 28. 
Yeah, this is what this is the craziest corn I've ever been to. Yeah, let's get this in. I hope we've got enough time to get this in. No, don't go around there, don't go around there, don't go around there, don't go around there. No. Let's put some tension on it, it's getting away from there, because that snapped me up. There we go. Come on, away from there, away, away, away. Come on. Away, come on, get away from there. There we go, we gotcha. Put the tension up when you bring them in. Oh, how selfish this is. <laughs> oh, not bad. £20, 2 ounces. Bit of a lump. Um, nice size, though. More tackle points coming on. Um, then we've got another time for another cast. And we got that. One minute. We really haven't got enough time to cast another rod, but we might be able to get one more on this one. Got one minute to do it in. I think it might be the, the end of this first fishing video. Unfortunately, it's gone too quick. Like I say, 20 minutes, I don't think it's long enough. I don't think. <laughs> but like I say, this is the first week. You know, next week we'll do... Oh, bugger it. Next week we just do 60 minutes, sod it. We'll just do 60 minutes every week. As soon as this week's over 20 minutes, we'll just do 60 minutes. Because I reckon if we have 60 minutes, I reckon we can catch more fish like we got there. I don't think we've got enough time for number fish. Oh, that's gone so quickly. What's the time gone? Time's flew by. What's happened? It's flew by too quickly. Oh. Well, that's gone over a bit too quick. Well, well, episode one, 89 pound catfish. You know, that is the bait I use in that carp corner. The carp corner, it's just, it's a gold carp. In, it, it's just gold. Oh, bring this in. There we go. Just gold. It's, it's basically carp corner. You know, £195 free out is in a 20 minute session. And I wasn't even trying properly. You know, we were just doing an episode, just a video. Just a basic video of what I do, and we went and catch that. I am not complaining at all, but um, I hope you all enjoy the video. Uh, please like, subscribe, follow my Twitch for live stream videos, follow my Twitter for further news for the next video coming out, which will be tomorrow, probably about this time, uh, probably 11 o'clock. It's GMT, 11 o'clock GMT. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and just enjoy fishing and tight lines. And Hopefully I'll see you around in my comments, even on my Xbox message me, my, my Xbox Game Attacks Logic skill. My PS4 is Daniel Akers, so message me on my PS4 as well, I'll be on there soon. But yeah, thank you very much and have a great day. Thank you.